Great Britain declared war on Germany on the 4th of August 1914. At that time, Tolkien was studying English language and literature at Oxford. Whilst at school, Tolkien had had some military experience in the cadet force. He also joined the officer training corps at Oxford University. When he graduated in 1915, Tolkien enlisted in the Lancashire Fusiliers as a second lieutenant. Tolkien originally served with the 13th Service Battalion of the Lancashire Fusiliers, where he trained as a signalling officer. After training in England, he then transferred to the 11th Lancashire Fusiliers, and on the 4th of June 1916 he set sail for France. His first stop was Etape, the famous British military training camp, where he received further instruction in trench warfare and trench life. On the 27th of June 1916, Tolkien was moved south, passing through Rubempre, Worley, and eventually settling in the small village of Bouzincourt, just to the north of the River Somme, on the 3rd of July 1916. Bouzincourt was to be the base of much of Tolkien's war experience. It was a village he returned to after his brief spells up on the front line. However, Tolkien had arrived at Bouzincourt in the middle of the, one of the most cataclysmic events of the British Army, the Battle of the Somme. On the 1st of July 1916, after intense artillery bombardment, 13 divisions of the British Army and 11 divisions of the French Army attacked along the front of the Somme. The main axis was the road leading from La Boiselle through Poissière up to Bapaume, the old Roman road. This really is the site of the start of the Battle of the Somme. On the 1st of July 1916, the British Army launched its attack. Uh, from behind me, they were trying to advance this way up the Bapaume Road um, from Albert through La Boiselle, etc. And pretty much I'm standing not far from the, the front line on the 1st of July 1916. Now, Tolkien wasn't actually in the Battle of the Somme on the first day but his friend, Lieutenant Rob Gilson was, who was a member of the Tea Club and Barovian Society from King Edward's School. Uh, Gilson took part in the attack on Bacor Wood, which is just behind me to my right, coming up here across Sausage Valley. Uh, unfortunately, he was killed on the day. Although Tolkien didn't take part in the opening day of the Battle of the Somme, men of the Lancashire Fusiliers did in a very, very famous clip from the Battle of the Somme film released um, in 1916, uh, made by Malin's um, uh, official cinematographer, uh, we see the Lancashire Fusiliers who have attacked from this side. They're trying to reach Beaumont Hamel here, um, and they managed to scrabble into this sunken road. And Malins gets his camera here, and we can see the men sitting here on the south bank of the road just resting before they then go over the top and try and take Beaumont Hamel. Uh, unfortunately, most of them got slaughtered within a few yards of going over this ridge. This is the scene of where Tolkien saw uh, his first action in the First World War. Behind me there is uh, the village of La Boiselle and running along the hill is the crest of the Roman road. That was the road that leads up to Bapaume. So in effect, the British were attacking from my left up that road to try and take Bapaume and the Battle of the Somme. And around here is really much where the battle started itself. Tolkien wasn't here on the 1st of July. Um, he was in reserve still in Bouzincourt, um, and he actually moved up here on the 14th of July 1916. And he was in some trenches somewhere around behind me, what was known as Mash Valley and in La Boiselle. His job was to try and set up communications so that uh, signals could go back and forth from the front line back to the headquarters so that the uh, people in command could understand what was happening. The Lancashire Fusiliers launched their attack at 2am on the 15th of July 
and basically they were trying to relieve the Warwickshires who had already taken Ovier just to my right, a small village up there which was the scene of um, quite serious fighting throughout the next uh, few days. Uh, after that, Tolkien stayed in the trenches and was moved back again into reserves on the 17th of July.